Hi, today we're going to see how to turn glasses into sunglasses. I will put the link of this image in the description box. So the first thing I need to do, so press the plus key on your keyboard to zoom in. So we need to make selection from the glasses here. So I'm going to, so I'm going to use the quick selection mask here. So click on this icon. And now I'm going to make the foreground white. So switch between the foreground and background by clicking on this icon. Select the paintbrush tool. And I'm going to decrease a little bit the hardness and force. And now increase the size. So here, and now I'm just going to paint. So everything that I'm painting here is going to be selection here. So here, just take your time. So if you made a mistake, just press Ctrl Z to undo what you have done. And now let's select the second glass here. So as you can see here, I selected parts of the frame. So, but it's okay. So here and now, I'm just going to remove parts here. And now, in order to remove the quick selection mode here to get the selection here, just click again on this icon here. As you can see, toggle quick mask on off. You can also press Shift plus Q, and then left click. So here's our selection. And now I'm going to create a new transparent layer. So click on this icon. Fill it with transparency and then press OK. And now I'm going to select the gradient tool. So now I'm going to select the FG to BG RGB, foreground to background RGB. And the shape, I'm going to turn it into a linear. And now I'm going to change the foreground and background colors. So I'm going to start with the foreground. I'm going to select this orange color. The HTML notation is E88716. And then press OK. And now for the background, left click on the background. And now I'm going to select this one here. The HTML notation is DBA51C. Press OK. And now I'm just going to trace my gradient. So here it is. And now just press Enter to confirm the gradient. And now I'm going to remove the selection first here. So go to Select, None. And now I'm going to change this layer mode here to multiply. So left click on the mode and then just scroll down and then click on multiply. So here it is. And now press minus key on your keyboard to zoom out. And now here you can still, for example, play with the opacity. So here, so I'm going to select this one and then reselect top layer, press the plus key. So here, you can, for example, just just give a slight tint here, so like this, and play the, with the opacity here. And now, for example, you can still duplicate it to increase the effect. And here you can still, for example, lower the opacity. And for example, if you want to change the color, so I'm going to hide the top one we just duplicated. So now I'm going to select this one, go to colors, here and then go to hue and saturation and here you can just change the hue to change the colors so here and here you can change the lightness here to make them darker let's go here to make them lighter here and here to the saturation the intensity of the color so here like this for example so i think the so here it looks good also. So here like this, let's keep it like this and then press OK. And now press minus key on your keyboard to zoom out. And now right click here, new from visible. And I'm going to hide this one here. So now let's see the before and after. So here it is. If I hide this one, so here's the before and after. So I think that's it. That's how you can turn glasses into sunglasses in game. Thanks for watching, have a nice day and uh, till next time.